The Russell Energy Corporation proudly presents the smallest, the lightest, the most power dense, the most efficient, and the most affordable electrical power generation system ever devised. The Russell Engine Generator. A revolutionary new approach for achieving the most efficient use of any liquid or gaseous fuel while producing clean, dependable electrical energy. This unique design combines a new, high-efficiency engine having extraordinary power density characteristics with an extremely efficient high-energy electrical generator in one single integrated unit. This new combination offers many advantages not possible using conventional technologies. The one-piece waterproof and dustproof engine generator is significantly smaller, lighter, and more power dense than any engine and generator combination in use today. Designed for low-speed vibration-free operation, a longer than normal service life, with greater dependability, durability, and scalability, the engine generator is the most logical candidate for all portable and stationary electrical power generating applications. These attributes also make this design ideally suited for continuous duty as well as emergency and military applications. The lean design principles used in the development of the engine generator make it the most economical electrical generating system to purchase, operate, and to maintain, while the stackable plug-and-play capabilities of this technology further allow for the greatest efficiency coupled with unlimited expandability. Now let's look at the Russell engine generator and how it works. As the upper case half dissolves, we can see the center portion of the stationary block and a large rotating mass that is the upper cam plate with the upper ring gear attached. The ring gear is used to provide external rotating power for any mechanically driven ancillaries that may be required, such as blowers. Ancillaries are mounted to the upper case half. An access hole will allow for engagement to the rotating ring gear. In applications where multiple engine generators are used, access to the ring gear may not be necessary. There are two rotating cam plates in the engine generator. As the top cam plate becomes transparent, the cam track that is machined into the cam plate will remain highlighted to aid in visualizing the engine's design and function. Immediately, we can see that this is not your ordinary internal combustion engine. There is no crankshaft and the cylinders have sleeves around them which move in a unique start and stop manner. As we look further into the engine, we will expose the cylinder sleeves, the cylinders, the pistons, the connecting pins, and the combustion chambers. The cam bearings located on the cylinder sleeves are visible as they move together with the pistons while maintaining constant contact with the rotating outer cam track surface. We can clearly see the great power density potential of this engine design. In this version of the Russell engine generator, each of the four cylinders fires twice in the course of a single revolution. This means that this four-cylinder engine will produce eight combustion events in a single revolution, four times the number of combustion events when compared to a standard four-cycle engine with the same number of cylinders and at the same speed. In fact, it would take a 16-cylinder conventional engine running at the same speed to duplicate the firepower offered in this 4x2 design. This is power density. But power density alone is not enough. Substantial increases in efficiency are another benefit of this innovative engine design. It is obvious that the pistons do not move in a conventional manner. As a matter of fact, this is one of the truly notable features of the engine design. To achieve the greatest level of efficiency, the piston movement is made to optimize every facet of the combustion process and minimize internal energy losses. The engine generator operates at a relatively constant speed, making the combustion and its effects more predictable and dependable. More importantly, because this design allows complete control of the movement of the pistons during each cycle of the combustion event, maximum combustion efficiency and output power is achieved. This unprecedented control allows us to obtain more power with far less fuel and pollution. Just as all fuels are not the same, an engine design should not be the same for all fuels. 
Efficiency comes from our ability to capture the most energy from the combustion process, regardless what fuel is used. In a conventional crankshaft engine, our hands are tied. The piston stroke length is normally the same as the piston diameter. This is referred to as a square design. In the Russell engine generator, the piston stroke can be made as long as necessary to harvest the maximum energy from each combustion. The optimal stroke length is determined by the combustion characteristics of the specific fuel being used. Piston speed is intentionally fast during combustion to reduce the production of the pollutant nitrogen oxide, which is formed during the combustion process, but can be reduced by allowing rapid expansion within the cylinder. Because the cam track design allows the direct conversion from high speed piston movement to the low speed high torque movement of the cam track armature assembly, there is no gearing required. As the cam bearings move out and away from the center of the engine, the pressure exerted on the bearings is reduced while cylinder pressure decreases. At the same time, the leverage or rotational forces exerted on the cam track are increased as the cam bearings move further from the center of the engine. The result of these opposing actions is an extremely smooth, even and efficient power curve. Adding to the smooth power curve is the obvious advantage of having two opposing cylinders oriented 180 degrees apart and firing at the same time. For every action at one cylinder, there is an equal yet opposing action at another cylinder on the opposite side of the engine generator. This translates into extreme torque and vibration-free operation. No forces are applied to the low friction radial ball bearings that support the cam track armature assembly allowing all the rotational forces to be converted into usable electrical energy production. After combustion has completed, all gases must be expelled from the cylinders. In the conventional engine, this is accomplished by forcing the pistons against the gases, which are still under great pressure, and expelling them out through the relatively small exhaust valve opening. This action is similar to pushing on a syringe. Moving a large volume at great speed through a small opening requires a great deal of energy. Energy used to expel gases is energy that cannot be used to produce electricity. In the Russell engine generator, we do it better. The piston is simply stopped at the bottom of the piston stroke. The exhaust valve is opened and the compressed gases are allowed to escape freely through the opened exhaust valve with no loss of energy. But the advantages of this system don't stop there. After the cylinder has decompressed and while the piston is still stopped, air is circulated around and through the cylinders from simple ports in the cylinder walls located at the face of the fully extended pistons. This action completely evacuates all the hot, spent gases of the previous combustion from the cylinder. Unlike conventional engines where some spent gases are always trapped in the cylinder. The hot, spent gases that are normally trapped in the cylinders of conventional engines inhibit the next combustion, reduce power output, and increase pollution. In the engine generator, not only are the spent gases completely evacuated, but the entire working length of the inner cylinder walls, the combustion chamber, the exhaust valves, and the exhaust system are all cooled by the purge air flowing through the cylinders. Internal cooling of the entire combustion area increases energy production because cooler air in the cylinders will expand more during combustion than air that has been preheated and therefore partially expanded in the hot cylinder already. The increased expansion of cooler air within the cylinders translates into more power and increased efficiency with each combustion. In a conventional engine, the next operation or cycle would be the intake stroke. And again, we can consider the analogy of the syringe. During intake in the conventional engine, we are drawing air into the large cylinder, again through a much smaller valve opening, and again at a great loss of energy. In the engine generator, we already filled the cylinder with air during the purge and cooling cycle described previously, and we did it without even moving the piston. Another energy-saving feature, but there's more. When the exhaust valve is finally closed in the engine generator, there's a period of time when the purge and cooling ports going into the cylinders remain open. The piston is still at the bottom of the stroke, 
and pressurized air is allowed to pre-compress in the cylinders even before the piston begins moving inward. The result? Greater compression within the cylinders prior to combustion. Because the engine has no head gaskets or lower bearing caps to limit compression, as in conventional engines, much more air can be compressed, yielding further increases in output power. The final operation or cycle is compression. The piston moves inward toward the center of the engine, compressing the air inside the cylinders prior to combustion. Here again, we do it better. The piston begins to accelerate slowly as the cam bearings begin to climb the large radii in the cam track at the beginning of the compression cycle. The piston then rapidly accelerates as the cam bearings ascend the cam track. As the piston gets closer to the top of its stroke, the cam track steadily flattens, slowing the rate of ascent while providing increased leverage to move the piston further inward while the pressure inside the cylinder continues to increase. Again, opposing actions, but this time they are designed to provide a smooth conversion of rotating energy into the linear movement of the pistons. When the piston reaches the top of its stroke, fuel is injected directly into the cylinders and combustion begins. The piston is made to hesitate at the top of the stroke after ignition. This ensures maximum pressure is attained prior to allowing the piston to move out, causing rotation of the cam track armature assembly. Now that we have seen the revolutionary new engine design used in the engine generator, let's take a moment to look at the integrated generator. As all the non-rotating parts of the engine and the case fade away, we are left with the principal rotating feature of the design, the cam track armature assembly. It is made up of the ring gear, the upper radial ball bearing set, and the upper cam track plate. The armature ring, the armature magnets, and the magnet clamps, the lower cam track plate, the lower radial ball bearing set, the cam ring retainer, the exhaust valve cam ring, and the thrust bearing. This simple cam track armature assembly, supported by only three low friction ball bearings, brings yet another level of efficiency, dependability, and durability to this already highly efficient design. The cam plates that control and harness the high power of the pistons are used to drive this flywheel assembly that is the generator armature. As the magnets of the armature pass the sealed stationary coil winding secured to the outer cases, electricity is produced. Because of the large diameter of the generator design, it has been estimated that as much as 98% efficiency can be expected from the generator. With all the heat of combustion localized in the center hub of the engine block, which is water-cooled, and with the assist of the purge cooling system in the cylinders and the oil spray in the engine case, the rotating magnets will be protected from excessive heat. The stationary coil must dependably provide for heavy electrical loads during continuous duty operations. For that reason, a special cooling system has been provided for the sealed coil windings. There are two separate and divided cooling passages, one in each case half. The cooling passages are designed to allow any liquid or gaseous cooling medium to be circulated in opposite directions around the outside of the sealed generator coil to ensure even cooling throughout the coil, even while under the heaviest loads. The design simplicity is clear. As electrical load is increased, more resistance is applied to the rotating cam track armature assembly. A sensor mounted in the stationary case monitors speed. As load increases, the rotating armature will tend to slow. Additional fuel will be added as required to ensure that the speed of the generator is accurately maintained. The balance of load and effort that is equally distributed around the entire diameter of the case results in a smaller and lighter case. Because the entire load and effort is applied to the engine block and the attached case halves, no torque is transmitted outside of the engine generator. Therefore, all mounting structures will also be smaller and lighter. The Russell Engine Generator. Simplicity, efficiency, dependability, durability, 
and incredible power. All in one small, affordable package.